hello welcome to this video in this video i will show how to maintain diary transactions in excel worksheet before going into the program let us check how this template works here i have four headers from column f2 column i date category data item and amount first i am entering the date it is current date here i created a drop down from the available drop down i am selecting option so here i am selecting expenditure from here i am selecting employees cost here i am mentioning amount it is 250 now click on add transaction here we can find transaction updated here it is sorted based on the date in the form of descending order now let us check some prerequisites here we can find the headers sales expenditure depreciation interest tax and dividend first i define these headers in that column i mention the data items for those headers means this is the category and these two belongs to sub category under the category of expenditure I have these expenses first i segregated into two parts first one is header and second one is data items for these data items i created a name by considering header name if we select all the expenditure items we can find the name here expenditure for these three data items this is the name and for these two data items this is the name like that i created the names you can add more number of data items after mentioning the header now let us check the coding part open vbe this is the code to create name and drop down press f8 to start the debugging first define the input data worksheet next i am using for loop here and denotes about the name it is a loop variable min value of the loop is 2 and max value of the loop is max used row number of column l in column l i mentioned all the available names click on form last step open name manager already i created four names in this worksheet so i copied these names in column l press f8 now i am deleting these names before creating the new names we need to delete existing names in the worksheet that is the process that i am executing here now we can find existing names are deleted after deleting the names in names manager next i am clearing the data in column l here i am selected from range l2 to last used row after that i used clear method 
here I am using do loop to create the names do until blank column hits in first row in cells property first part is row index and second part is column index row index considered as 1 and column index considered as 14 which I declared here so upon completion of each and every iteration column number increases by 1 so loop starts from 14th column of first row so it moves in this direction and it stops here as first row is blank in R column press F8 first I am activating the cell first row and 14th column next I am defining the last row by using indexal down property last row is 3 I have data up to third row next I am selecting the range here we can find n2 and n3 these two column values are selected so based on selection I am creating the name refers to selection this is sheet level name if you want to create workbook level name we can mention the workbook name or this workbook for the name I consider the value of first row and 14th column this is the name press F8 now I created the name for sales we can find here select name manager now I am creating the names for the remaining columns also press F8 now completed the looping process next I want to paste the names in column L from range L2 press F8 here application provided name address along with name so I want to delete that one now I am clearing the data which exists in column M now data cleared after creating the names my next step is I am going to create data validation in range G2 first I am clearing existing value in G2 cell after that deleting existing validation you can find drop down doesn't exist here it is deleted next I am adding the drop down for this drop down I consider the names which exist in column L this is the description for error message ignoring the blanks mentioning drop down equal to true now this is about creation of names and create drop down in G2 cell suppose here I am creating one more header which is named as ABC category and subcategories are MNO, P, Q, R, X, Y, Z, like that. Click on Add Names command button. Here we can find in the names list ABC added. Let us check 
If we click on ABC, we can find the drop down of MNO, PQ, or XYZ. Or if we click on dividend and interest, we can find depreciation, interest, and tax. If we click on sales, it gives sales and sales returns. For this, here I used indirect function. Click on data tab. Click on data validation. Here I used indirect function. And functional argument considered as G2 cell. So whenever we change the value in G2 cell, relevant dropdown will display in H2 cell. Now I am deleting this one. Control S. After that, add names. We can find only four names exist. Now let us see how to add the data to the transactions list. First, I am updating the data here. After providing the required details, I am going to add this transaction to the existing list. Open VBE. This is the code. Press F8 to start the debugging. First, to define the worksheet. After that, I define last row. Here last row is 26. Means I have data up to 25th row. So I want to add the data from 26th row. So I increase it by 1. Here we can find plus 1. In column A of 26th row, I am placing range F2 value. In column B of 26th row, I am placing range H2 value. In column C of 26th row, I am placing range I2 value. After that, I am clearing the data, which exists from F2 to I2. Now I Here we can find data appended at the end of list. Now I want to provide the sorting based on this date column. Here we can find data deleted. Now I am applying sorting by considering the range of A1 to A last row. Last row means 26. Sorting order is Excel descending. Now I set the range from A1 to C26 as I have data from column A to column C. So I don't want to sort the headers as I consider data from A1. So I mentioned this data set consists of headers. Now apply the sorting. Here we can find January 27, sales value is 2500. In this way, we can add the transactions to the existing data set. And my next step is, next I will show how to create income statement by using this data set. Click on create income statement. Here you can find the income statement.
In previous video, I explained how to create this income statement. So in this way, we can create the names and append the transaction to the existing data set. Hope this video is useful to everyone. Thanks for watching.